This is TV5 News Live. Good evening. It's Tuesday, December 4th, 2001. I'm Edwin Daniel. Welcome to this TV5 Live update. But first, the United States believes suspected terrorist Osama bin Laden is still hiding in Afghanistan. That's according to Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld. A sizable number of U.S. troops is trying to find a bin Laden, is trying to find bin Laden, and if he leaves, the U.S. will pursue him. But if U.S. forces encounter bin Laden, it could be a deadly showdown. Bin Laden is thought to be heavily armed, but to what extent is still unclear. Reports have surfaced that the terrorist ringleader has a dirty bomb made partially of radioactive material. Rumsfeld said he is uncertain of the capabilities of bin Laden and al qaeda But Rumsfeld said bin Laden publicly admitted he wanted weapons of mass destruction. During the Pentagon briefing, Rumsfeld also commented on the fate of the captured American who had joined the Taliban. War stories from the front line in Afghanistan were recounted Tuesday by a soldier who was wounded during battle. In an interview at Fort Campbell in Kentucky, a 26-year-old Air Force staff surgeon known only as Michael said that he narrowly escaped from death during a Taliban prisoner uprising last week in mazar e sharif While advising Northern Alliance fighters battling the prisoners, Michael and four other U.S. Special Forces troops were wounded by the errant U.S. missile that struck near them. The five suffered wounds ranging from broken bones to ruptured eardrums. The military honored the men with Purple Hearts. One man, a CIA officer identified as Johnny Mike Spann, was killed during the battle. Spann was the first known U.S. combat, ca combat casualty in Afghanistan. The United States Space Shuttle was set to launch at 5.45 this evening. However, due to bad weather conditions, however, due to bad weather, bad weather conditions to space, the space shuttle was grounded for the night. Officials canceled the flight after the crew was set for launch. The astronauts shut down the shuttle and ex exited safely from the flight. It will be rescheduled later on a later date. While Borough Council just ended TV 5s on Mark Despacakis, and he sat in on the Borough Council tonight, and he also has tonight's recap of the meeting. Mark? Uh, that's right. Thank you, Ebony. We are here live uh, at the Clarion Free Library. Uh, the meeting uh, just wrapped up. Uh, a couple issues were discussed. I'm going to go into them uh, in just a little bit. But joining me now is uh, Borough Manager Carol Lapinto. Uh, so on December 20th of this month, Council is going to meet again uh, and uh, is going to vote on the budget. So you prepared the budget. Uh, give us, for the viewers watching us right now, what does this budget mean to them? Well, basically, the most important thing, it means no tax increase. This will be the ninth year in a row that we've uh, been able to hold the line on taxes. It's a very good budget. To, um, there's no frills. Uh, it's just a bare-bones budget, but once again, we were able to hold the line on the taxes and basically live within our income. Great. Well, Carol, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for, for stopping by. A couple other things uh, that went on tonight. Uh, Something that needs to be noted to some borough residents uh, was noted by council that leaf collection is over uh, here in the borough. So if you're putting your leaves outside, uh, they're they're not going to be picked up. There may be a pickup of those leaves sometime in the spring. Um, also, uh, one of the the things that we've been hearing about at borough council is this proposed ordinance for scooters and rollerblades and things like that on Main Street in the borough uh, and, and, and curtailing that use. Well. That is going to be tabled until the new council takes effect uh, in January, and then they're, they're going to let that council discuss it. Now, as I said, there is another one more borough council meeting with the current council on December 20th where they will vote on something uh, like the budget as well as some other things. But it is the last borough council meeting tonight uh, in this form, at least the televised form, for four members of council. One, uh, President Austin, who you may actually be able to see behind me, Leland Rupert, who, who stepped in here on council. Uh, mayor Yoho, actually, he's not a member of council, but he uh, is will no longer be mayor here, as well as council member Mel Riffer. So it was kind of a going away party, as you saw if you watched uh, tonight's meeting. Coming up tomorrow night on TV5 News, we are going to give you a full recap of uh, what happened tonight. As we're also going to give you a little bit of, of an analysis of that, uh, the borough budget for 2002. For now, reporting live from the Clarion Free Library, Mark Espadakis, TV5 News. Ebony, back to you.
Thank you, Mark. The county commissioners have agreed to spend up to $473,356 to repair the clock tower. The commissioners say that spending that much is a worst-case scenario and the cost should be much less. The serious condition of the clock tower was found while workers were doing other work on the courthouse. Without the renovation, officials feel the tower will not survive much longer. Thanks for joining us tonight. Join us tomorrow night at 8 o'clock with Carrie LaPou and Jackie Nealon. I'm Ebony Daniels. For everyone here at TV5, have a good evening.